community. She's a community organizer and a poet from San Jose. Good afternoon. I'm like, don't get the pipe, so forgive me. Uh, my name is Lindsay Leon. I was born and raised in San Jose. I'm a second generation Chinese American father, Miss Palo Alto, and a white mother from San Jose, and this is how it turns out. And so we're here today, and I feel like it's important to say that because within the Asian American community in the Bay, approximately 50% of people are first gen, and I love that. And there's people like myself that have been here building community. And it's, it's important for us to be here to acknowledge that hate crimes and racism and violence happen in the Asian American community. And it's also important for us to be activated and realize that that narrative that was sold to whatever part of our family decided to come to this country about you pull yourself up by your bootstraps is not a real thing. And our families, they sacrificed so much for us to be here. My grandfather came here when it was illegal for Chinese immigrants to come here. He was undocumented. My family had to go to Canada in the 1960s and change their last name to stay here legally. My grandmother was a war bride. My grandfather was an illegal immigrant and fought in World War II and brought a war bride who was my grandmother who came here legally. Our family sacrificed so much for us to be here. And it's hard for them because trauma is real and shame is very motivating in our cultures, y'all. Y'all know shame is very motivating in our cultures, whether we like it or not. And so they don't always talk about that. So we don't always know about the sacrifices that they went through, but we tend to think that that narrative of you pull yourself up by your bootstraps is how we make it as Asians, as Asian Americans. And the unfortunate part of that is the divisiveness that it leads to anti-blackness. It leads to racism against Latinos and Native Americans and our fellow brothers and sisters of color that sacrifice so much on civil rights movements for our families to even come here and have the opportunities that we have now. So there is so much division about it has to be we're fighting hate crimes or it has to be Black Lives Matter, it has to be abolishing I mean, it's all interconnected. And I hope that we take a stand and get activated and realize that it's okay to talk about the trauma that happened in our families. It's okay that there's things that we're ashamed about and find ways to accept that in our cultures and find words for love and apologies that don't always exist verbally in the ways that our cultures function. As Asian Americans feel that it's okay that we don't always know how to support fellow people of color, but that we're willing to learn, that we're willing to be here and do better and get active. I've seen a statistic the other day that less than half of Asian Americans who are eligible to vote vote in any election. And we tend to play the identity politics of like, oh, this person is Asian, they're running for office, so they think like me. And that's not always the case. When we're putting people that hurt us, we're putting people in office that hurt fellow people of color and wonder why there's division and why people don't get along because we're not always active. And to be honest, I don't know why we're scared to vote, but we've been scared to vote, we've been scared to take a stand, but we want to get mad. As an example, I'm from San Jose, so Evan Lowe is a state assembly person who is fourth generation Chinese American. He is my homie. He is my state assembly member. He is in support of Prop 16 as am I, which is very controversial in the Asian American community. No, the Asian fat, I heard you, that's okay, I heard you. So his constituents who are Asian were threatened they're gonna take him out of office because he voted for integrity. He voted for social justice and not what the rich Asians in his district thought that he should do. So my point is identity politics are real. So instead of supporting people that are working for social justice who look like us or don't look like us, we only want to come out and we have an emo pissed off and we want to pull the car like, oh, you Asian, you speaking to me? You don't speak to me now, so I don't support you. And I believe that we can do better than that. And I have hope that we'll do better than that as we build vernacular for like how to do this social justice work, especially for our youth and in support of our elders. We like to put up the memes that we do it for our ancestors. If you really do it for your ancestors, you're gonna ask them about the trauma they went through. You are gonna love on them and you're gonna work with them through the shame. You are gonna vote. You are gonna stand with other communities of color and you are gonna be hella proud to be Asian American. You're gonna stop being ashamed. You're gonna stop trying to subscribe to whiteness and uphold the white supremacy and be proud of where we come from, our food, our language. We're gonna stop disrespecting each other as Asian Americans. They're the brown Asians, they're the five, they're the jungle Asians, they're the rich Asians. Because to everybody else outside of our community, we're all the same. So we need to build that pan-Asian identity and be proud of that whole Asian diaspora. People who look like us, who don't look like us, but are identified as that as such. I believe that we have the opportunity to make a difference. The other people are doing about Prop 16. I can't really be here to tell you why to vote on it, but it is a social justice issue. It is not going to hurt you as an Asian American. It's going to support you historically in the public sector jobs, which is one of the things that affirmative action deals with. Those of us who look like us are not promoted to management, and affirmative action is one of those key things that will help us get the higher levels, have more financial stability for our families, and more of a say in politics and things that affect us. So please stop saying that you're against it. I know you have that right to vote. 
That is your right. You don't have to agree with me. I'm Asian American. I'm for affirmative action. I'm about supporting our elders. I'm about supporting and getting activated. I'm pro Black Lives Matter. I'm pro abolishing ICE. We have so much work to do, y'all. We're in the season finale of 2020, and I believe in us. I love y'all. Thank you for having me. revolution. 